Let's talk about the Sony RX1R Mark III, which is not coming. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thomas Love here from beautiful Vancouver, British Columbia. And today we're gonna talk about this Sony RX1R III, which is not coming because in my humble opinion, it has been replaced by the Sony A7C R, where R stands for, I don't know, resolution maybe. They just announced it and they just released it and it's gonna be a heck of a camera because I saw the specs and I saw the dimensions as guys, this is really what we were waiting for. And since now Sony and Zeiss are not so much friends anymore, I think that the A7C R might take its place because let's face it, the camera is compact and lightweight enough but the lens is not because guys if you want to pair it with the 35mm Distagon which is the alternative to the 35mm f2 Zeiss that the Sony RX1R Mark II had back then then it's a it's a bigger camera so the body is compact and lightweight we saw the specs and the dimensions of this Sony A7C R are very similar to the Fuji X100 line so it's an EDC size but it's tough with technology because you have seven f-stop ibis because you have the ai tracking recognition face detect and so it's a bigger camera stuffed already in a smaller body and the sony rx 1r mark ii was roughly the half of it in size and so since this a7cr is already stuffed there's plenty of technology stuffed in there I don't see the Sony RX1R Mark III coming anytime soon because more compact than this, then you might start having some troubles, such as you might have to compromise on the IBIS. Now you have seven f-stops IBIS in the Sony A7C R, which is a lot. It's a lot. It's a huge IBIS, and then you have face detect. You have the AI recognition and many 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 other features that we didn't have back then in the Leica Q2 that we are not having yet in the Leica Q3 and then probably we will not see anytime soon in the Sony RX1R Mark III unless you know guys every year technology advancements allow you to do to progress to put more stuff better stuff in our camera up to the point where we don't manage our pictures anymore we hand it over to the camera some decisions such as the auto white balancing that now we are all used to well it's a decision that you hand over the automatic iso that we might use for street photography it's another decision that you hand over and we want to be in control up to a certain point but we also want to have some good help up to a certain point because otherwise we would only keep using film cameras like we were used to do back in the days so now sony they sony they really stepped up a notch with this technology and they guys now we are also used to this af recognition and now also with the ai stepping in i see that we are diverting the production from photography to videos especially because if you consider that for photography you have this new feature from photoshop when you can eventually select an area of your photo and ask photoshop to fill it in with other elements created out of nowhere out of thin air out of fantasy i could eventually snap a picture of these woods right here select the path and ask photoshop to replace it with water with the river with some i don't know reflections whatsoever and they will eventually do it and so i think i think that photography it's a bit of a challenge nowadays but more and more features in our camera are answering video capabilities video necessities and so this a7c r as well despite the 60 megapixel which is a lot it's a it's a sensor stuffed with pixels for the dimension that it has and i don't see it answering any video needs but eventually if you allow it to work with longer focal lens such as the sony 100 to 400 
then you might eventually have a compact body and you can go out here and chase wildlife with such a compact camera which is also the entry point when it comes down to pricing pricing right now a7 cr is four thousand dollars canadian versus the 4300 canadian which is still worth the rx1r mark ii and then eventually you also need a lens so in addition to the four thousand dollars that you're spending for this brand new camera with ai with ibis with whatsoever you need to add a lens so whatever this tagon 35 mil just to be comparable is another fourteen hundred dollars of course plus taxes of course canadians because i wouldn't know the price in the states but apart from that i think that spec wise dimensions and pricing wise they are comparable and so in my humble opinion this a7cr is killing the rx1r mark iii i don't know if we will ever see it coming i would love sony to take this new rabbit out of the hat and give us this very valid alternative to the like a q3 but honestly guys the a7cr is indeed a very good alternative to the like a q3 which in canada here is worth eight thousand dollars so spec wise they are kind of comparable the Leica Q3 doesn't have any IBIS, it's still stuck with OIS, which I'm using in my Leica Q2 and I appreciate it along these three years. I'm using it for shooting whatever streets, events, and now also the new release, the new project that I'm starting next week about food photography, always with OIS. But OIS, when it comes down to steals, doesn't make any difference while ibis really makes a difference when it comes down to video production and so we'll see how it goes with video i'm not using the like anyway and i'm seriously 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 considering this a7c r for video production despite i'm still not sure the specs are what i'm looking for i would love to have a lower megapixel camera so if i have to step in with sony I've never been a Sony fanboy, but if I will ever need to step in with Sony for video production, which I'm being asked more and more nowadays, I think I would probably pounce on the A7S Mark IV. Assuming it would be a lower megapixel and assuming you will get the same IBIS and assuming you will have not that big of a price and assuming you will have all the AI technology that Sony is putting everywhere now she it is placing in all of the new cameras so with that i hope you got some value out of this video if you did please remember to like it share it on your social media subscribe to the channel so you won't miss any videos to come and i guess i will see you later thank you bye bye